Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. I hereby call the Committee on Elections and Campaign Finance to order. Uh, roll call, Madam Secretary. Representative Holsclaw? Present. Representative Love? Here. Representative Manis? Here. Representative Shaw? Here. Representative Williams? Here. Representative Wright? Here. Chairman Crawford? Here. Chairman Rudd? Here. Chairman Rudd, you have a quorum. And Representative Williams says he is on his way. He's running late from another committee. All right. Um, got a couple of uh, couple items on the uh, calendar today. Item 1, HB 2483 by Chairman Zachary has been rolled one week. Item number 3, HB 1888 by Representative Hakeem has been taken off notice. So that brings us back to the top of the calendar. Item number two, HB 2277 by Chairman Hawk. And I believe we have an amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members. I have a motion and a second on the amendment, on the bill, excuse me. I believe the drafting code is 013345. That's what I have. Do I hear a motion? I have a motion, second on the amendment. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor of adapting the amendment say aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Amendment is on the bill, if you want to explain the amended bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members. Currently, Davidson County is the only county that is exempt from the provisions of Tennessee Code 2-5-151, which is relative to petitions for recall, referendum, or initiatives. This bill proposes to bring Davidson County's rules in line with the rest of the state uh, in regards to those three areas of elections, uh, Chairman and members. Any discussion? Chairman Hose call. Thank you, Chairman. Who's behind this bill? Who brought this bill to you? Uh, folks from Davidson County. Okay. So they want it back to the regional state. That, that's the discussion that we're having right now. I, I think uh, uh, it, is, it is being sponsored and co-sponsored by folks from Davidson County. They just asked that I, that I work with them in this, uh, in this endeavor. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, opposed to a vote on the bill. Seeing no objections, we will be voting on Bill HB 2277 as amended. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Goes on to full local. Thank you, Chairman Members. Next on the item is item number four, HB 1634 by Representative Griffey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can I roll this a week, please? Uh, any objections to rolling a week? Seeing none, it is rolled one week. Thank you. Thank you, Members. Next on the item is item number five, HB 2128 by Chairman Crawford. Motion. I have a motion and a second. So I don't believe there's any amendments on this, is there? No. Okay. Is it all right to present from here? Yes, it is. My friend John will stand up for a little Okay. Better off see the CFC. <laughs> Chairman Crawford from the podium, please explain your bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, committee members. Uh, House Bill 2128 is a bill that comes before us. It's called non-citizen voting. And what it is, is it requires that you be a U.S. citizen to be able to participate in the election and vote. The other thing that it does is it also requires you to be a U.S. citizen to be picked to serve on a jury. Those are the two things that it does. It's the two only things it does. So this is something that we do in practice, but it's not codified in law. Uh, so hopefully this will take care of that. And I'll be standing here answering questions. Sir. I believe Mayor Shaw has a question. Thank you, sir. For that title, I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, I, I did want to ask, and you brought it this morning, and I told you I'd vote for this legislation, but... I, it is a little bit confusing where it says this bill adds the following to the election laws. Can you just kind of explain that part of it to me, if you don't mind? Uh, again, I, I think it goes back to this is something that we've done in practice, but it's not been in the law, and this would make it part of the law, election laws. Yes, sir. So it does not add any additional work or anything let, like that to what's presently being done. It just codifies what's already in the law. That's what 
I'm hearing you say. Uh, Chairman Crawford. That's my understanding that uh, the only two things that it does is require you to be a U.S. citizen to vote and okay. to serve on a jury. And if you come in from a different country and you do your citizenship, you become a citizen, they'll register you to vote, you'll be good to go. So, so once you become a citizen, you would be as well as anybody else, but got to become a U.S. citizen. Chairman Schultz, as long as you're Chairman Crawford, yeah. you would be able to vote as long as you registered. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing no questions, we're ready to vote on the bill. All those in favor of HB 2128, say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. Goes on to full local. Thank you, Chairman and Committee. And we have uh, on page two, 17 more bills. I'm just kidding. Uh, that is the last item for the day. Is there any announcements uh, from the members? Any uh, Anything you want to talk about? Seeing none, if there's no objections, uh, we will adjourn for the day. See you next week. Same bat channel, same bat time.